Welcome back, everybody. My name is Dakota Bacon, a.k.a. Delcino. It's been a long time. I know it's been a long time. Um, it's your boy, Astro Nug, a.k.a. Kinetic Blitz, a.k.a. Astro Nova, a.k.a. Realma Nova. I oh, mean, I have way too many names. Anyway, my friends, I finally got a a new device, a new capture device to just start playing games again. My, my desktop's been down, so I haven't played games in a long time. Past two years have been rough. But anyway, without further ado, I just want to start doing places recordings and other games and just start getting the groove of talking to all of you guys editing videos again and eventually start streaming all that shit but here we are with matrix awakens this is an unreal engine 5 experience it is one of the best tech demos i have seen recently like i've seen a little bit of this um and it looks fucking fantastic and i thought you know what i want to hop back in here go through it again because i've only seen it once and i want to give my thoughts and my opinions and also see how you guys react to all that and also be a good test as well not only to you know because it's not only one of the best graphic demos i've ever seen but it'll also be a good way for me to test this new capture card that i got and also test my microphone and all this other shit so without further ado let's start with the chase and hop right into it guys And just so you know, it's not like any of this is pre-rendered. This is a real-time tech demo. So all these graphics and everything that you see are rendering in real time. Like, it's not pre-rendered, it's not pre-recorded. It's happening Hi, as it's I'm happening. I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. Yeah, I work with I computers, like the too. I my field outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors. Reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make. Damn, Keanu, you the look so good on there. Earth. Holy shit. They also confront us with questions. <laughs> like, holy shit, it looks so real. This <sighs> I just can't get over it, man. Why we want to make X instead of Y. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. There's Matrix 1 right there. What is real? How do you define real? Good For question. For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? Excellent question, Mr. Keanu. Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, Damn. I first played the character of Thomas Just Anderson. Just the fucking detail in those beards, guys. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves... Right, she looks a little weird, though. Before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as... Like, she still looks really good, but... We could tell she's not as realistic as Keanu. In a completely digital world. And what would reality mean? When a world we can build feels as real as our own. Oh, just... Oh! Guys, this is the fucking future of games, man. Like, I just... Holy shit, man. What just happened? This is like the perfect way to start off. I'm sorry for talking over him. Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. Welcome to the Matrix. Man, it looks. Damn right. I sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing? Where'd you come from? Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. Right on. Yeah, it's all supposed to be a little unreal. Hmm. Nice pun. Word of advice. Nice connection. Things are bad, but whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. There goes Neo, the Superman of the Matrix Universe. The one. So, 
What now? Haven't you ever watched a movie before? Shoot the tires. Say I know how to shoot the tires. It just looks so realistic. Come on, bitch. The controls here are a little finicky, but it works. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, baby. Yeah. Fuck these agents. No, I want to shoot him. Nope, I can't shoot him. I forgot. No, reload. I'm fucked. Well, I fucked Watch up there. This. Oh, I wasn't supposed to happen yet. No, shoot the tires, bitch. It's so sensitive, guys. Like, you have no idea. But it looks, oh my, I'm just, it just looks so good. No, bitch. Fuck off. All right. Yeah, my game audio might be a little too loud. Yeah, my volume might be way too high. Fuck you, bitch. They used the adaptive triggers in this tech demo would have been incredible. Okay, how about the big gun? You'd never I mean, the tech demo is still incredible, but I you just wow, man. It's so sensitive. And it doesn't matter if you kill civilians, because they, they're all going to turn into agents anyway. Fuck yeah, baby. Fucking bullet time, baby. Wow. Like, like, play, going through this a second time, it's just like the first time. Like, I just, I can't help but be blown away by the Unreal Engine 5 tech demo. Like, the fact that you can even interact with it and do things in it is just... Ah, oh, it's just, it looks so good. Like, you guys, it's just, it looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. I see a mass AI, the crowd and traffic system, toggle mass AI visualization. So this is the, what you, the, basically that, show the AI, then the cars pop back in. So, it's just, wow. Wow. It's just, I'm blown away, guys. Lumen, dynamic global illumination reflections, day, night. And like the lights coming from the buildings and illuminating everything around it is just, that's so realistic during the night. And the day, oh, it's just, it. they both look so good. Niagara particle system. I'm blown away. Nanite visualized geometry. So basically I guess this is what the computer sees. Like all the underlying shit that allows the GPU to and code all the shit. Chaos, physics, and something. I didn't read that. But yeah, wow. 
temporal super resolution, higher display resolution. So I don't know if you can see in the bit distance, but those pixels are kind of like fuzzy, but then I toggle back and they're like clean. Meta sounds, procedural auto generation, more visualization. It just, wow. Yeah, the background pixels are like fuzzy and then I turn it back and it's crystal. Wow, it's just, it's so... Oh. Actually, I didn't read this first time. Icons on the map lead you to plaques like this one. On these plaques, you can find facts about the city and the technology used to create it. Interesting. But yeah, wow, man. Like, it just looks so realistic. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like when you walk, like... Like, walking up to the building and then looking straight up, it's like... Excuse me. It feels like real size. Like... You know what I mean? It's kind of like in Spider-Man. For those that have played Spider-Man, you know, like when you're swinging across the city. The buildings are big, don't get me wrong, but for something, when you're standing on the ground and you're looking straight up like this, that just feels to scale. You know what I mean? It feels like that's how it'd look in real life. And I just, oh, it's so mind blowing. Like, and if we go up, I'll tune it up, baby. Speed up, bitch. Okay, so if we go up and look at the city, like, It's just like, wow. And yeah, the frame rate kind of struggles a bit. Like, I'll admit that. Like, like the frame rate's kind of probably in the mid-20s, mid-30s right now from rendering all this shit. But honestly, I can't even really care. Like, I'm usually um, an FPS buff. Like, I'd rather play games at a higher refresh rate and lower resolution if it means, you know, it's smoother. But for something like this, it just doesn't matter. It really honestly just does not matter, man. Like, the game could be, f as long as it's playable, I could live with the lower resolution if it looks this good. Like, I mean, like, watch, if we go up to these buildings, like, even the buildings, they have, like, basically full rooms in there. Like, they may not have people in there, but they still have, like, their own, like, rooms in there. And it's like, wow. The attention to detail in this demo is just... It's mind-blowing. Like, it's not like other games where there's, like, a building you can't walk up to, and so they have, like, what is it, like, a poster kind of image on the window of like a little bit of the detail inside but there's like no depth and it looks horrible this actually has depth this actually has dimensionality to it like this is just absolutely just mind-blowing it's incredible the visuals look stunning it all looks just so well done and of course we got the menu settings, so there's still like a camera mode for those that are into that and want to take, you know, like really good images and shit. Um, there's also a crowd and traffic and park cars density, so we could turn the crowd off, turn the tra traffic off. And damn, even the sound, like you notice all the sound from it, the traffic went away. Wait, yeah, man, it's like, wow. You can't help but be blown away by all this. There is a little bit of a stutter, you know, toggling all the shit, but... Oh, wow. Like, real quick. Let me go up higher real quick again. Wow. Alright, now let's... Primitives. Instances. Clusters. Yeah, I'm assuming all the nanite stuff is what the computer, like the CPU, the GPU, all that shit sees, and that's how it renders everything. But just the fact it has that detail, 
is mind blowing. This is probably gonna look weird in the YouTube render because YouTube never renders videos like accurately. So I don't think this is gonna even look as good as what I'm seeing in front of me, but. Wow, without the matrix filter. Oh, just. It's just so good, guys. Like. Wait, let me turn back towards the sun real quick. Um, sun rotation. Like, yeah, like. This shit's just absolutely mind blowing, guys. Like. And the models look really good. Their clothes, the texture on their clothes look really nice. I'm just really blown away by all of it. Like, I just have no words, man. All right, let's drive. Test out the driving. Wow, I thought you could knock over that stop sign, but apparently not. Anyway. Oh, yeah, they all just despawn. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell the frame rate definitely, like, is, like, slowing down a lot when you drive. And excuse my horrible driving. I've always been driving in video games. You can ask my friend Will. Poor old boy. Wait, real quick. Before we continue driving, let's see what this says over here. The architecture in the city was inspired by selected styles of Chicago, San Francisco, and New York City. Now let's just take a different car for reference. I think what's really also mind blowing to me is actually all the cars. Like I've never seen a, um, I've never seen traffic to this scale in a video game before. Like, I mean, I've seen a lot of cars on streets like in Spider-Man or GTA, but this is kind of like next level to me. Like imagine if you had a rocket launcher or something right now, it could blow up all these cars on the side. I guarantee you the FPS would probably tank to like, three or four FPS a second. Like, it would lag so bad. But just... The visuals here are just absolutely groundbreaking. And, like, look at that wreck. Like, it just lagged super hard, but... Wow. Wow. Look at the window. The detail on the shatter on that window. And the broken bumper on that red car. All right, now let's see if I can get out of here. All right. Even the detail on the front of the car, like in the wrinkles. Wow, man. Wow. Like, yeah, it kind of lags a bit, but if everything's actually really rendering out at like 4K and like everything's like streaming in all at once, that's incredible. Like like I said, it doesn't really matter to me that the FPS is this bad when it looks this good. But I know what you guys think about it. Like, if you guys are watching this, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And like I said, also, a lot of this is um, for me to test out my new recording stuff. That way I can actually get back in the groove of recording games. Again, because I got a bunch of stuff I want to record for you guys. It's been a long time since I made videos like this, but... Wow. Wow, Spider-Man 2 looks like this? You fucking bet your ass that that would be like the best game ever. Even Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, as we all know, came out really rough last year, but if Cyberpunk looked like this, I mean, it'll be all futuristic and stuff, but... This is what Cyberpunk should have looked like, man. Oh, the way those windows shattered and the dents on the car. I'm just blown away. 
Oh, did that car just despawn? I just saw that car despawn. That was interesting. Anyway, I'm also playing this on the PS5, by the way. So I don't know if that makes a difference in like how well this is rendering or how low the frame rate is and stuff like that. I would assume that this and the Xbox Series X would perform about the same since they're both the top consoles. I don't know how it would be on the Series S though because the S I know is like the cheaper Xbox. That one might not perform as well, but I'm just impressed. I'm really, really, truthfully impressed, guys. Like, no, I didn't want to do that. I'm used to GTA controls, trying to press triangle to get in here. All right, let's carry on, my wayward sons. I just hope my game audio is not broken because I might have my audio too loud for all of this. Like, I hope it's not like peaking. But um. Yeah, let's see how fast we can get real quick. Ooh. Oh, there goes that car. I'm sorry, friend. Ooh. That was a good hit. Let's see the damage on that one. I don't think it was that black one because there's no nothing on that button. Also, I'm sorry if I'm like talking too much. Like, it's just something you have to see to believe. And I don't know if this is on PC. I think this is only on the Xbox Series X, S, and PS5. But if you guys have the PS5 or one of the Xbox consoles, series consoles, I definitely recommend downloading this tech demo and experiencing this for yourself because it's a sight to behold like there is just no words no words for the quality of this man Holy shit, man. How's the YouTube? I'm sorry for cussing a lot. Please don't put a strike on my video or something for that, please. It's just how I talk. It's not like I'm purposely being derogatory. It's just... I feel like cussing is a... Um, it's a more creative way of expressing what you're trying to say. And I feel like, man, this game is beautiful. It's not as good as saying, damn, this game is fucking gorgeous. This shit is amazing. Like, I feel like that has more impact to it than saying, oh, this game looks cool. Like, yeah, like, people will still understand what I'm saying, but adding the cussing brings a whole new level to it. Anyway, I don't want to bore you guys to death by getting over detailed in this. I know there's all the placards I can go read, and I know that there's one, I think, that lets you m make it go to night as well and walk around with it at nighttime, but... I'm just, I'm really blown away by this, and I want to know what you guys think about it. But anyway, this has been what my first return video, my first test with the new Razer, and if this video does well, and I can render it right, and it sounds good and everything, then you can expect way more PS5 gameplay videos coming soon, right at all of you. But for now, I love you all, and until next time, peace out.